Hi there, my name is Tom Morgan, I'm a Microsoft MVP and I want to talk to you today about Microsoft Teams App Studio. Um, I've done some videos about App Studio before but a lot has changed since then and it's now become a really important developer tool if you're building any kind of applications on Microsoft Teams. So here I am in a, uh, a demo tenant um, and so the first thing to know is how do you get App Studio? What is it? How do you kind of find it? Well it's deployed as an application in Microsoft Teams. So what that means is I can come down to the, um, the ellipsis here, I can see my list of apps and I can look at more apps. And I can search for it here. Now I can find it under developer and IT. Um, it's in this list somewhere. Um, or if I'm not sure, I can just search for it. So I'm just gonna search for App Studio. And there you see it shows up right here. And I'm gonna install it. So it's completely free to install. Um, and it's all almost ready to go. So I can choose to jump straight into the app or the bot. I'm just gonna go straight to the app for now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So now that it's here, you can always get to it from these three dots. You can always get to it here from your list of applications. Okay, so I'm gonna go through each of these tabs along the top um, and explain what they all are. So let's start with the manifest editor. Now, if you've done any applications in, in Teams at all, you'll know that in order to um, deploy that application, you need a manifest file. Now, you used to have to create these manifest files in JSON um, by hand according to a published schema, and that meant the potential for errors was quite high. You don't actually have to do that anymore. Um, you can use this manifest editor in App Studio. So I'm gonna click on create a new app, and what it's going to do, it's still using that same um, manifest JSON file, it's still using the same schema, but what it's doing is it's overlaying a UI with um, validation steps that mean um, that I'm not going to um, make any mistakes that mean my schema is invalid. So here it says a short name, 30 characters or less, and a value is required. So right away it's interpreting that schema um, and making it really, really easy for me to fill out this valid manifest file. And so you can see here, I fill out the applications, my uh, the details of my application, um, but then also the capabilities my application has. And I can do all of that down here. Each of these um, sections has different requirements depending on what it is you're adding. When I'm done, I can add any valid domains. The nice thing here is that if I've um, specified, let's say a tab that's on a particular domain, it will pre-populate that domain as a list of valid domains because that's the right sensible thing to do. But I might also want to add additional uh, valid domains into here as well. Finally, when I'm done, and this is really powerful as well if you're developing applications, I can really quickly sideload this application um, into my Teams client with one click. I don't have to um, create a zip file, go to the App Store, upload the zip file. I can do it all in one button click. I can download the app as a manifest file here, um, and I can also directly submit it to the Teams App Store. So this manifest editor in uh, App Studio is really, really powerful now for um, helping developers create those manifest files that they need to drop applications and to create applications in Teams. Okay, the next thing to look at is the card editor. So uh, if you're doing any interactions with users, then you should know that you are not just limited in sending text to those users. You can send them rich cards that can contain images, different size fonts, um, different piece of information, tables and buttons as well. So users can take actions off the back of um, the cards that they're being sent. The card editor is a really nice way um, to help you visualize some of that. And it lets you build these cards up from scratch. So a couple of different options here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a hero card here, which is typically you know, a large image, some buttons, some text. Now I can fill the details of my um, card out here. And as I do, you can see on the on the right hand side, a large preview of what my card might look like, um, as well as actually the code that I need to put into my application to generate um, that card. So I can see this in JSON, I can see it in C Sharp, and I can see it in Node. So this is a really nice way of just seeing what effect um, your changes are having and seeing what the code being generated looks like. One really cool thing you can do as well is you can you can send yourself this card. So if you really want to see what this card looks like, 
click the send me this card button hop on over to the conversation tab here and app studio has actually just sent you that card so you can see the actual card how exactly it's going to look so that's a really useful kind of thing that card editor whilst we're here in this conversation tab um, that's a really good use of the conversation tab as well is sending yourself sample cards um, but actually you can also search all the the team's developer documentation as well so i can i can say search and maybe i'm uh, thinking about building some connectors um, so i'm going to say search building connectors um, and it's going to go away and come back with some um, suggested uh, links I can go and look at. So really, really useful. Um, really uh, very helpful in in um, just helping developers get going with some of this stuff. And finally, um, the last tab I want to show you is the control library. Because if you're building applications for Teams, you want them to look like Teams. That's a nice user experience, right? That it's the same kind of look and feel to things that users are already expecting to see in Teams. Um, and the, a really easy way to do that is to take on some of the style and the UI framework that the Teams people use. Um, and they're very, very open about the, the libraries um, that, that they're using. Um, and they're sharing them all here on that you can see them here on the screen right there's a bunch of downloads these are npm packages um, for things like the core css styles the core icons the binding libraries but also down the left hand side here it's like a showcase of different controls that you can use each one of these um, sections has different types of the buttons so different types of controls so here you've got buttons so different types the icons What's really neat, however, is that there's a live code editor here as well. So you can see the actual code that generates the samples you're looking at. And this is two ways, so you can change this. Um, so I can start to type things in here. And you can see that it's making changes in real time to the controls. So App Studio has really developed as a really kind of fully functional um, developer support tool really for helping developers who are building applications in Microsoft Teams. If you don't already have it, you absolutely should go over to the App Store and go and download App Studio today because um, all of those features will help you build better Teams applications. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been useful. If, um, if you're interested in doing Teams development, if videos like this um, are useful to you, um, then head on over to my YouTube channel um, and hit subscribe because um, I've got a load of these planned um, for this year. And you can also go back and have a look at all the ones I've done in previous years. I also do a weekly um, kind of 10 minute uh, catch up video of all the kind of news in the Teams developer space as well. So um, go to YouTube, hit subscribe and um, I will hopefully um, see you uh, online building Teams applications in the near future. Thanks very much for watching.